Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a multi-asset importer in Odini using basic Python. So this is the final result of the tool where every asset gets its own subnet so you can easily load it into Solaris for instance. I'll show you that at the end. There's a more complete version of this tool with, with more features and an interface that I will be sharing on my Patreon in case you're interested. Where you can load files from subfolders with a custom prefix and LOD filter, or you can simply load all files in a particular folder. Okay, let's start by creating the asset loader. The first step would be to import the necessary modules, in this case, Aldini and OS. We can also set the default folder for the Explorer window. So here we launch the file explorer window, setting the type to folder and give it an initial location that we defined previously. Now if we actually select a folder and not the cancel button, we will continue the logic. In this case set an initial context, obj, and create a geometry container. Now we will iterate over the files within the selected folder and if I print out the result you can see the target folders, the different variations. We check if the folder starts with a specific name var, you can adapt to your own scenario. Next we will dive inside the var folders and grab the LOD0 which is the one I am going to use. And as you can see by the output, we have selected the correct 3D files. Now we get rid of the file extension, just grabbing the file name itself. And we will need the absolute path of the file. We can simply recreate it with the variables from before. We will also create a file sop to actually load the files with the create node command and next set the parameter file to the file path we declared. But as you can see it's a bit disorganized with a bunch of file nodes so we can actually create a subnet from each file with uh, an appropriate name. In order to do that we can use the collapse into subnet command and pass it the nodes to collapse and the respective name. Just to finish we can lay out everything so it's a bit more readable in the network. Now you have everything working as expected and again you will have to adapt it to your own naming conventions and file structures. Or you can use the tool I am providing on Patreon that covers more file structures and naming conventions. Just to show you how you would load this into Solaris, you can create a component geometry, dive inside and load a single variation. Now you can use the geovariant index variable to load in everything, along with a component geometry variant set to number and with the correct amount of variations. And you can use an explore variance to check that it's loading all the different variations. Alright, I hope you got something out of this. I know that you can import multiple files with Odini, but I don't like the way it organizes it into different geo containers and it doesn't have the possibility to load from multiple folders at once. So yeah, thank you for your time and see you in the next one.